Hey, welcome back to our MVC application here. We're doing a CRUD application, so database work. We're going to take the data that's on the screen here and expand it using the set of data that we collected from a previous Wikipedia article. So in order to create a database and use that in our list, we're going to have to go into the SQL Manager and import the file that we created some time ago. So just to refresh your memory, I went to the Wikipedia article about the uh, gadgets for uh, James Bond, and I copied all of this data here and formatted it into a spreadsheet. So I put it into Excel, and it turned out to look like this then. And then I was able to save that as a CSV file, and then I was able to switch over to a converter, which says take a CSV file and turn it into a SQL statement. And by the time we got to the end here, we have a statement that looks exactly like what we need to import our data. So this here creates the table and does all of the inserting for us. So I'm going to provide this file to you so that way you can follow along. So in this video, we're going to focus in on this section over here called the SQL Server, and we're going to look at some of the tables that are in our database. Now, if you don't have this window open, I will close it and show you how to get it open. So I would go to the View menu and choose a SQL Server Object Explorer. When I select that, you should see SQL Server pop up. And so the SQL Server has several items. I'm looking for the first little black triangle, and then underneath there, you'll see a folder called Databases. We expand that and you see a bunch of different databases that I've made in previous work. So what I'm going to do now is create a new database and then we're going to add some data to it. So let's right click on it and choose add new database. So I'm going to call mine bond gadget database and choose OK. And you should see that it shows up here somewhere on the list. So there's bond gadget database just as I named it. So let's open up the uh, database and then let's select the tables area and you should see that there's no tables yet. So I want to create a script or just use a script and do all of this work uh, for me so I don't have to go out and create the tables. So I'm going to right click on the database and choose new query and that'll bring up a, an item where I can type in SQL statements. SQL statements is just what I need because that's what I have down here. So let's uh, click in here, choose select all copy it, and let's switch back. So now I'm going to paste in my uh, SQL code. And if I'm lucky, it'll all format correctly. So let's just review to make sure that everything is here that we want. So first of all, we're gonna create the table called Gadgets, and it will have the uh, names of the columns, and uh, just so happens that these are the exact same names that I used in my model. So that makes it really easy to work with. And then down below, you could see about 350 lines of inserting into the database all of the values from this system. Let's go ahead and choose the green arrow and see if it works. So it looks like uh, I have nothing selected and just runs all of the code. Now, if you select part of it and choose run, it'll only select and run that part. So be careful not to highlight anything. Now I look over here, I have a a new table called gadgets. If I open it, let's double click on it and it'll bring up the designer. So if we wanted to ever change it, we could. So we can see that we have an ID, name, description appears in and with this actor. And they are all varchars with integer for the first guy. So hopefully that works just fine. And let's go and check out the data. So I'm going to right click again and choose view data and this will show us the contents. So it appears that my import worked properly. And so each of the columns has items in it now. So hopefully that worked for you. If it didn't work, then uh, just double check your syntax here. Sometimes you can decipher what's going wrong here. Here's an important item. If you do not have identity 1.1 selected, then you might have a problem because identity means auto increment, basically. 1 means start at value 1, and 1 means increment by 1. So it'll start the ID number at 1, the next one will be 2, the next one will be 3, and so on. And so that, that's a critical line here, otherwise you might have some errors. But it looks like we're ready to move on. So we have a database full of data, and next we're going to write some SQL statements that we can get that data and save the data. So that's coming up next.